Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Is It Rotten? Or also known as, of course it's rotten. Are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Dude. Some sometimes this this show is just called Yes It's Rotten. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's, it's called Of Course It Is. Of course. But sometimes it's bullshit. But you know, I I I mean, I'm just saying, you know, bullshit. But you know, we we understand. Oh. Uh, the, the, um. So guys, the film we I I as you know last week I'm, I'm sorry we didn't post anything. I don't think we posted anything in the month of September. Did we? I don't think we did. I have no idea. You I don't, have I don't, control over that. We don't. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know if if last episode uh, was actually posted. I don't. Last episode was Novocaine, right? Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I don't know when you actually posted Novocaine. I think it might have been in August. It might have been in September. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. But anyway, guys, we're we're back with another episode of Is It Rotten? And um, this month we're probably going to be doing two episodes in this month mm-hmm. because we're behind and, and Halloween. And yeah. Halloween, and uh, we want to. And Eric picked the film. We'll we'll I mean, get to that. This could be a Halloween movie. He's wearing a costume. <sighs> uh, don't go there. <laughs> the film we're talking. I mean, it look. could be a better Halloween movie than the Halloween movies we've been getting. Hmm. Anyway, guys, if you're wondering what the film. And I talking. mean the Mike My- Michael right. Myers ones, right? Right. right. Guys, you're one of the film we're doing today. We're doing Blank Man, um, which we said we're going to do, and it's my pick. Um, it's currently got a 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, and um, before we start, you know what we do. We always talk about our first time experience in this film, our favorite scene, our favorite, our favorite line, and our worst line and our worst scene. All right, so um, I'm gonna go last. So I'm gonna start with Eric. Eric, what was the, what was your first, your you know first time watch your reaction? Well, it's like, I like probably like a lot of people's first experience with this movie. It's on cable. It's just it was just playing, and it's like, what in the world is this movie? Because <laughs> like I had seen Meteor Man before, and like that was like a nice interesting movie, but then this is just like. It was like, I, is it a parody? Is it, is it just played straight? I'm not. It's like it's it's just, it is in, like I, as in as a decent amount of movies that we cover, and especially with Novocaine, it's in this like weird medium gray area of neither being a parody nor the actual thing. It's. I think it tried to be a parody of the Silver Age, but didn't know enough about the Silver Age to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It it gets very dark at times, mm-hmm. which confuses some of the weird humor that like Ugh. it's juxtaposed with. Like grandma dies at the beginning and then like you were immediately Mind at you, her that's, funeral that's and normal, she's like normal family films in the nineties. Yeah. Sure, yeah, and normal superhero stuff. Yeah, well, but then that, you cut to more... Daryl just like wailing at the funeral and it's done as like a comedic beat. And it's like it, it's treading its feet in both waters yeah <laughs> okay well. why just just another thing why why did why did harris what did mayor harris get did, did, why, why did he become associated with the mob guys after he was not associated with the mob guys and he wasn't associated with the mob no guys no he, he I, was, I don't he was not associated no with- no he he obvi- obviously I guess the implication is after he they got had robbed, something he, on him. At, after he got robbed, he accepted the offer that he showed up for. Oh, is, is what I was thinking along the lines. But then he's just like, "No, I'm not. I'm done with you." <laughs> right, 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 right. So it's like, it's like ultimately, what was the point? Yeah, I yeah. Took, I, I other took than to kill like the a, grandma, the, like the white knight type. Guy, yeah, yeah, the guy, uh, yeah, like the Harvey Dent. Yeah, yes, I just yeah. it was like that. Yeah, yeah, Same. yeah. But Harvey Dent had reasons. This guy had nothing. No, he was barely a character. Yeah, yeah. like he literally was there to no longer be who he was. Like to fall from a position we were told he had that we never saw. Right. <laughs> we saw him get held up, and then the slight heel turn. That's all we saw. Yeah. 
and it was a way to connect to the grandma and to Daryl. In that way, uh, yeah, but it could happen in like an alleyway. Actually, would have been a better parody, right? Um, I guess I gotta go because all three of y'all just really went at once. Um, oh no, we could go much further. Yeah, we could. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, look, when I first saw this film, um, I remember when I watched it, um, like it's on TV, and then um, you know how you I recorded it on t- on my TV. You know, I just recorded it on the tape, and I loved it. So I watched that movie back. Look, fuck y'all. I watched this movie as a kid so much that I knew about it. It was fun. I loved it. And um, I loved it. Now, I admit, as an adult, there's some things that don't hold up. But, you know, all in all, I loved it as a kid. I still laughed, but I understand that it's not as good as it is. Yeah, this is a movie that I watched all the time when I was a kid, too. Like, I've, I've seen this movie probably as many times as I saw, like, Back to the Future when I was growing up. Right. It was just always on. Right. But, but yeah, it's the not, mo- not, like, a perfect movie. Yeah, yeah, it's not perfect. Hell no. <laughs> no, no, to me, to me, I, 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 I wrote down Blank Man is Dark Man plus Ernest slash Pee Wee and the Nutty Professor. Okay, I, uh, I put Pee Wee and Batman. I just like Pee Wee and sixties Batman. But I, but I see an, enough of the Ernest character in Daryl. Okay, where he has weird inventions, and you're told he's smart, but you have no idea how these things actually connect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pee Wee right. has some of those inventions too, like the Rube Goldberg stuff. He does, but it's with Ernest. It's way more pun- way bit more bizarre because right. right. it's not a guy who. Like, have you seen Ernest Goes to Camp recently? Oh. <laughs> not recently. Not recently. I have, actually. Don't ask me why. It's why? Not like I, it's, it's not Quarantine like I fell, comfort food. It's yeah. not like I fell asleep watching Scared Stupid, and that one came up next. <laughs> yeah, you went on a drunk stupor. Okay. <laughs> why, hell no. I'll, I'll watch fucking Scared Stupid sober. Yeah. <laughs> but movie's um, awesomely dumb. But here's my, here's my thing, and I'm wondering... Where does this take place? Because I'm thinking this takes place in Michigan. Does it take place? Yeah, no, it it, it definitely it takes does. place in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking Detroit because I was like, this is not New it's York. Like, it's like, because other guys got the Michigan sweatshirt and yeah. Uh, yeah. J5 think, has the Detroit. At least they're hat. trying to rep Michigan if it's not. Okay. Like It, has, it makes sense to be Detroit, yeah. Because Detroit yeah. was really bad in that. Okay, it says on IMDb he wears the Michigan thing because the director and David Allen Greer are both from Detroit. Okay. So we don't know exactly where this takes place. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have it from New York and Detroit and say Cleveland. <laughs> There's no way that's Cleveland. <laughs> it's you know the city, it's, guys. It's it, too, they're in it's, the city. It's, you're right. It's too clean for Cleveland. They're in Crime City. Yeah, it's a Crime City. I'm, I'm, I'm betting Detroit because it makes sense. Because I know they don't want to go to New York. It doesn't look like New York. It, it de- no, it definitely doesn't look. There's too many above ground trains for it to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. Think there's, of- there's only above ground trains in Queens and and Harlem. Right. Everything else is underground. Right. And <laughs> this makes me feel like, this feels like Detroit. Yeah, there's not money in, Chica- in Detroit, though. Maybe Ch- That's why I'm thinking either Chicago or Cleveland. Mm. Maybe Chicago. Uh, yeah, yeah. Detroit yeah. really doesn't have it's those eyes. Well, reg- regardless, uh, it's like it's summer with a Washington Avenue because that's where that's the sign that I spotted in the background of uh, the blank station. Okay, well. And you say I do too much fucking research. I, fucking I didn't. Remember no, that. no, no, no. No. How do you remember no, that? That's not research. That's just that's just me paying attention to my surroundings. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get to our favorite thing. Eric. All right. So, my favorite scene, it's. <sighs> This is this is a tough one because there's a lot of there's a lot of like moments that like get like a nice chuckle out of me, but it's like it's it's got it's <sighs> not because it's good. Not because not not because it's not because it's really particularly good, but it made you laugh. i I'm, I'm, I'm definitely for my favorite scene. It's got to be. Jason Alexander getting the coffee poured on, poured on him. 
<laughs> Damn it, Eric. <laughs> this isn't a boil attached to my attached to my ass. Paralyzed. <laughs> All right, that hurt. <laughs> and before that, he implies that David Koresh was his idea. <laughs> if you didn't notice, <laughs> Waco was his fault, apparently. Some actually making him worse than the suit guy. <laughs> All right, Scott. Ah, uh, th- that scene for me was the opening scene. I love the scene with the kids oh. watching Batman. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Little Damon Wayans Jr. playing not little Damon Wayans. <laughs> it's <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> yeah, it's a very strange choice, but I mean, great scene. All right, all right. Apparently, they got the bomb squad to make the beat. Which is weird because that puts it in company with Yo Bum Rush the show. Hmm. That makes no sense. <laughs> All right, Zach, what's your favorite thing, buddy? Okay, Eric took part of my. <laughs> mine, so I'm going to go with my secondary, which was just the box of chocolates with a shoe in it. <laughs> I love that. I don't know why, just the. What does she see in Daryl? No, what it's is it's going on. It a lot of this a lot of this movie, it's it's great when you compare it to Kevin's reaction to what's going on. And Kevin's reaction just a just a dirty old shoe? So, okay, this is a lot like uh Benny and June that way, where Benny and June live in this their own world and or not Benny and June, but Johnny Depp and uh, June live in this whole separate world and Benny is like, what the fuck's going on the entire movie? Right. Wait, okay. is Johnny Depp not Benny and Benny and June? No. I'm just finding this out. You to, <laughs> actually, that's not a bad movie. The whole thing is, in the, uh, he does an homage to, uh, oh god, what's, his, Old Stone Face. I cannot remember his name right now. That was his nickname. I know too much about pre-vaudeville shit. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Mac. All right. Um, I had to say, um, well, it's a tie. Um, Buster I, Keaton. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's a tie. For me, it's a tie between one scene and another, but I ha- I'll, I'll tell you the other one. But the, the, I, I got to say the scene where Grandma is literally at the, at the beginning trying to break up the commotion and she hits the bottle on the head of the wrong person. That shit was funny. <laughs> that was that. Was, yeah, it's like she she tries to break up the fight. It's it's the guy that's getting mugged. <laughs> this is like God getting mugged. He's like, come on, lady, where's your aim? And then he goes to the car, and the cops are just sitting. I there. thought I was just looking outside my own goddamn window at that point. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, and and another scene. Um, I I think y'all missed y'all will missed it, but you're blinking, you miss it. But the scene of, I gotta say, another scene that I like was. Kim, um, Kimberly's, you know, I know it's, I know it sounds stupid, but her investigative reporting was pretty neat. It was neat. She put the she, puzzle... she was like a competent April O'Neil. Yeah, yeah. 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 When, when she was, <laughs> when she was, she was literally Why Ninja Turtle stuff in this too. Yeah, she Seriously. was, she was literally, she was literally pulling together different, you know, things that she had reported on. It's like. Wait, this is actually all connected? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was connecting all the dots. Like, okay, yeah. boom, boom, which boom. Is, which was funny, because if you you contrast that in the beginning of the film with with uh, the Mr. Stone and his literal Alex Jones board way of doing <laughs> fucking... Is, you, know, uh, it, you, mean, you mean his uh, Family Guy whales? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, I'm going with Alex Jones on this one. Uh, staying yeah. pretty firm there. All right, because uh, I mean, he's like, "Did you get the story on the lesbian necrophiles?" I'm like, what? <laughs> like this movie has weird lines. Oh, so the, the one thing, one thing I will say about, uh, about uh, you know, Max second scene is that the interesting thing about that is that it's like she is actually just calling Kevin because. <laughs> no. She she doesn't have blank man's number. She at to this point hasn't outwardly stated that she knows that Daryl is blank man. She hasn't met Daryl. She is literally calling Kevin to let him know that I know who killed your grandma. Yeah. 
Yeah, she don't know who who she don't know if she got a brother. Well, I mean, she know he has a brother because Kevin's yeah. this say shit. No, she knows the whole fucking time. Yeah, no, no, she she mm-hmm. she does. She's, Everybody she's knows, up. and nobody wants to say it out loud. The, right. That's like, it's like the, the, painfully the, obvious. The, the <laughs> fact that Kevin is there every time. It's kind of telling. Yeah, yeah. It's like Can we it's get like a shirt that just says Kevin the Cuck on it. Look, it's <laughs> it's it's like it's like think, think for a second the first three seasons of Arrow. You have you you have you know you have uh, you have Oliver Queen. He's in his costume, but then you just have fucking you just have fucking John Diggle walking around as John Diggle hanging out with guy. the <laughs> Arrow, yeah, right, right. and it's like. And it takes four, It takes so three. No, it takes three <laughs> full years before he gets a fucking mask, and then another half a year before he has a code name. I think Spartan yeah. is like his karate guy. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> he's he's officially called the other guy. The other yeah. guy. The I'm other guy. Yeah, other right. guy. Yeah, the, the, the other, the the other guy. The other guy. By the way, the other guy is such a great second <laughs> banana name. Yes, it is. It's, it's, especially it's, for it's, blank man. It's. Mm. Mm. It's, 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 it's like, it's in universe too good for this movie. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. See, see what, I think what I would have done to make him called Blank Man would have been that the movie has to bleep out his name because it's a horrible, like, swear. <laughs> <laughs> just but, instead, to, it's, but instead, it's just Kevin being, he's gone blank, man. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Yeah, he can't. Well, no, that uh, Daryl doesn't understand, so he's like, all he hears is, because he's too pure in his head, so all he hears is, anytime anyone swears. (laughs) So we're seeing the movie from his perspective. Yes. 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 Tell me you do not want a nightmare from his perspective. (laughs) What reality is he in? I don't know. How can I live in it? It probably looks like Pee Wee's Playhouse. It probably and like uh, another thing. <laughs> How that did I you will... get the fork on your head? Why is <laughs> yeah, it there? Look, I was just, I was just about to say. <laughs> literally nobody, not a single goddamn person brings up the fork. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like the pickle in the, in the homeless guy sketches that he used to do. Where you're like, we kind of want to know what's with what the pickle jar. jar. Yeah, I still want. We're all afraid, but we all want to know. I think that's his yearn, but we it's don't. to show that he's crafty, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's visual storytelling. Exactly. But, but like, what one thing? It's one genius. thing that I will what, that I will say is is nice is that even in the flashback, his his glasses are still crooked despite the fact that they aren't broken. Uh, they they yeah. they do have both. They they still have both. Yeah. It's not a fork, but they're still crooked. It's a nice touch. How did he get anything together if he can't make the glasses not crooked? <laughs> How could he fight crime if he can't fucking see? <laughs> <laughs> Look. First, okay, that's line. That, well, there's way too many que- more. There's way. Too that's many. way too many questions for Blank Man. Uh huh. We'll probably just go. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 yeah. Um. So. Um. That's him that's having not- an orgasm, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> yes. Like the fact that okay, I just wanna I'm gonna break kayfabe a little here. We're recording on mental health awareness day. Let's talk about how sensitive the way to trail Yeah. Yeah, let's let's not um, let's not bring up uh them breaking out the R word in this movie. Yeah, yeah right at the beginning oh, too. Oh, should we not say the M word either? That's here. <sighs> Yeah, 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 man, that is also in there. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That, I put that in my my. Thing. And yeah, that whole sequence with Greg Kinnear, like, and his talk show of just like yeah, outcast superheroes. They're all just like offensive stereotypes. Exactly. Uh, yeah. That's a bad. When, we'll get to that probably later. When Drop Dead Fred did it better, you done fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So uh, best line. Um. Oh crap! You're about to tell my line, you motherfucker. No, it's like it's like once again, it's 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 really hard to sort of navigate through through what would be the best line. Yeah, a lot of my best lines are on my worst line list, also. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we I, I we all have the same problem with Nova Ken. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, it's no, amazing it's... that we've picked films that are so. <laughs> 
Oh, just 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 wait, just wait till next week when we're, when we're recording our zombies. <laughs> <laughs> that I, I I watched that I watched that movie to make sure that you know we had a version that we could watch. And man, that movie is a trip. <laughs> but uh best line <sighs> uh this what this this white boy's dead, we gotta go. <laughs> this white this white boy's doing we gotta go. <laughs> that is a great line, yeah. It's a great line. <laughs> I am wait. I just I just realized something. Are there any actually black criminals in this entire movie? Yes. Yes. yes there is one black okay. henchman in the in the bank robbery scene. Okay. Because everything yeah. else, I I just I had noticed it's mostly white on white crime. Yeah, I know. It's black. He literally is literally in the scene. Not scene of get your asses back from the door. You know. So um, yeah, that's an interesting co- social commentary right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, I know, right? Um, Scott, what, what's your what's your favorite line? Best line, man, best line. Uh, best line for me when he's at the police station and he's trying to see the commissioner, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "What's your name?" He's like, "I don't have a name yet, but I'm leaning toward brother man." <laughs> <laughs> that line cracked me up. Uh, <sighs> Zach. Okay, mine is sort of an exchange. It's slap me around, call me Susan, and then it's the without the callback of I warned you, Susan, it wouldn't work. Yes. And that he refer everybody refers to blank man as she throughout the entire exchange. Somebody yeah. help that lady. Somebody help that. <laughs> like, that whole exchange oh, is probably yeah. the best written thing in this film. It, I, I agree. I agree. Like that actually took effort to write, I can tell. All right. Once again, I have two, so I got two lines. Um, one of them is um, the first one I had to say is the grandma when um, or was it Maroney's coming? Uh, um, the guy, what was his name? Um, Manelli. 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 Just call him the suit. That's what the IMDb calls him. No, Manelli um, came in there and he said, um, told your grandma. He said, life is short. He said, oh, just like what you got in your pants. I was like, oh, grandma got it. <laughs> See, that was on my worst list. Yeah, that was that. That, that is that, one of that comeback. Literally got her killed. By the way, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I, mean, I would. Yeah, yeah, but um, also, mind you, a line that bad. Let's let's not <laughs> let's not say that uh, Grandma's death was a death to the art of poetry or something here. Right, but anyway, but if I had to go with my best line, is I'm about to slap you like one of my bitches. I was like, shit. <laughs> And it, and it, it can yeah. to him. I feel I like that you know. whole exchange was an in living color sketch. Yeah, that, was, that, and then that, the rest of the movie was built around. That it would have made it better if Jim Carrey was the, the guy. That that uh that the 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 robberies that first uh, mugging scene was was my backup for best scene. Yeah. <laughs> like when he said I feel ba- like all of the crime scenes like that the thing that would be in the Adam West Batman mm-hmm. all feel like in living color sketches and everything else feels like filler for them trying to make this make sense. If I had to Which say it makes sense. I mean, right. I know this well, is, this is a it, worse scene but it's a it's a backup and it's a worse scene but it's also a funny scene to me was when they had the pregnant lady in the. Oh, you just got my worst scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he I grabbed... just, I literally just put the whole birth sequence. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, he grabbed his dick instead of his. Oh, uh, yeah. Everything that, about that. That, that was, was terrible, but I was laughing. He was just. Like, <laughs> but I, I, I will, I will say the the only the only one redeeming part about that scene is when she says, "You have a big finger." Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the one redeeming part of that. You do that, have to love, though, when he's, like, cranking himself down into the elevator. He's, like, humming his own theme song. I like, and the, the only reason I will agree to that because of the callback of him going up to the bank. He's like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> Reminds me of Toxie and the Toxic Crusaders where his theme is, where his thing is, well, try not to get hurt. <laughs> like that's literally his battle cry. And everyone's like, we're working on it. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, they all weren't good. Or they all weren't They bad. mostly they, weren't good. They all weren't good things. Um, but um, what is the worst thing, Eric? My worst scene is 
it's when they're a, that when when J uh, when J five is drilling the holes into the tank and then drills two holes at cock level. Yeah. And oh, for a God, bit, it just looks like they're that. peeing out of the tank. That was bad. I, it, that it was, raises it was, far more questions than answers. It's like... Why, it's can like, you, why, why does the robot specifically scan for cock level? I don't but know. It's like... It's like... Because it's like... they. It wasn't at the same height. It was... But they both... At, it both ended up being cock level and they stood there. They held on the shot for too long before they were like, all right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's weak now. Let's, let's kick it down just so that they could get the pissing joke in. Yeah. Good gag. <laughs> <laughs> I um I know Zach is like chewing at the bit to do this. So we're going to go to Scott. Scott, what's the worst scene? Uh, the worst scene. I was going to pick the Greg Kinnear scene. But since we already talked about it, uh, the uh, the McDonald's scene when he gets a job at McDonald's, Ooh. and he's trying to take the order of the guy, and he keeps trying to like pitch him on like sodas and sizing up and whatnot. Right. It's just a stupid like product placement scene. It, it's it just it it's one of the least funny scenes in a movie of like somewhat funny scenes. Right. <laughs> of um, tolerable. Right. <laughs> Yeah, and I know Zach want to go next, but I'm going to go next. Uh, so, um, no, worst... I already did mine. The whole birth sequence is yeah, the whole, the whole... wrote down. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, um, I I have to say, and I know this is not on anybody's radar, and I understand it's a movie, but this makes no damn sense. Um, the whole robbery scene, the first robbery scene when they robbed the mayor's money. So it bothered. Well, oh, the me. robbery is there to to cover up. The murder, murder. It's, no. it's there to cover up the murder, and no. also, why did he? Why did he go in there with? With what was the point of them wearing masks if they were gonna fucking kill him? That was my problem. Because you can claim it's a robbery when the people see the the guys with the masks leaving. Well, you actually kill. But the guy came in there with the, his mask. Yeah, no, he didn't need one. The whole point was it was a distraction. I actually had to think about this too. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm still thinking. I was still thinking about it. Like this. It, like, it's like because like it was. It was two pronged as a to kill the grandma, and b to get the mayor in his pocket by taking the, the all the, yeah. all the grassroots donations that he did have. Yeah. Right. I I I just gotta put that scene on it. It may. No it's sp- it's a convoluted plan. It's yes. a convoluted. It is very convoluted. It's convoluted, and it made no sense. I was like just. If y'all gonna shoot, just get the guy come in there, like, you know, come in there and just say he sends his regards. Not everything can be the opening to the Dark Knight, man. I understand, but it just it may a lot of Dark Knight similarities, though. There are. I'm just. I can't can't believe the Dark Knight ripped off Blank Man. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, no, exactly. Christopher Nolan must be a big fan of Blank Man. Exactly. Chris Christopher Nolan, huge. Huge Damon Wayans fan. Damon Wayans yeah. fan. Why <laughs> is he? He should. He probably. I mean, I mean. Also, I mean, there's it, some it, like music beats that sound like uh, the Spider Man, like Danny Elfman's Spider Man theme. <laughs> so yeah. everybody's stealing from this movie. I know, right? And then um, also, um, I just. I don't know. Say, Danny Elfman's high. It was high pretty much this entire decade. True. So. True. And also, <laughs> I, I mean, wanna... Boingo Boingo was still a thing. Well, yeah, also, he was also on that Tim Burton high. Also, I want to say this. Um, I think I do believe that originally he wanted to put Damon Wayne's intent for some odd reason. I just got a feeling, you know. He probably wanted to replace him with Robert Pattinson, but he just settled on him. So, kind of good. I don't give a fuck. I I give a fuck. It was released in theaters. Ten is a good movie, guys. Go watch it. No, uh, don't go watch it. <laughs> you, do, do, have you not caught on to the problem? <laughs> <laughs> the very obvious problem right now. Matt. Do I not I go I see don't, Tenet. Download Tenet. Zach, Zach, I don't. I don't understand what what the big deal is about going out to the movie theater with a whole bunch of people and watching a movie in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 <laughs> sucks, guys. It's 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 2020. Why can't we all just go out and watch a movie? Why can't we hold hands, damn it? <laughs> right, right, right. Why can't I get okay. my hair cut? All right, all right. This is oh. just gonna be the weird year that no movies can take place during. Yeah, like, yeah. 
how do you tell or stories? Or that all movies will take place. It, it's it's either <laughs> no, it's also it's, a possibility. <laughs> this is the year that only very specific movies can take place during. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to. I want to make sure I can touch the guy in front. I want. I want to go to movie theaters and shake the guy right beside me. I can't. You completely that. forgot, <laughs> Mac, that you shouldn't go see it. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, frick, how? Well, movie theaters never reopened in New York, so I never had to deal with that. Right. They right. did. They've reopened twice now here. Look, dude, you're you're living in your own hell, hellscape right now. I don't envy. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, hey, remember when, remember when my state was the one doing worst? Oh man. <laughs> oh no no no. We're, we're oh, both. We're, 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 we are we're, we're, both still far we're, and above what Florida's up to. We're fucked. Yeah. Um, also, <laughs> North Carolina right now on today's date, especially. We're fucked. Um. So yeah. Um. So guys, uh, let's go ahead and go to worst line. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go first. Um, worst line, I would have to say is, and it has. I know. I don't have no look. I'm. I actually am a fan of Robin Givens, and Robin Givens is not a bad actress, and so she's cool. But the fact that she says, "Oh, you're such a poet." It, it, he didn't do no damn poetry at all. It made no damn scene. It it literally just yeah, brought yeah. her down to another level. I was like, that no. was that was just that was weird. Look, that she was, was given <laughs> a shoe and it was fine. <laughs> that was fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was fine though. Yeah, but he went and go got went and, and found the shoe that fell off. I think maybe See, unless that- there's just a bunch of shoes. <laughs> Littering, whatever. It might have just been a shoe. It's, it's, just, it's just one it. of the shoes that he has collected in that subway station. <laughs> it's just some junk <laughs> shoes. Yes. Oh, oh, I just, uh, just to backtrack a bit, another one of the best lines is, what is this stuff? Junk. <laughs> Damn it. Yes, that was one of another one. Yes, yes. That's a good one. Junk. That's like, what do you call this stuff? Junk. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it is the. Uh... It's perfect. It is like a shitty turtle lair. Yeah. It is a very. It is. It is. It is, a, it is his, uh, I'd say like a C grade turtle lair. It's. It's what. Next. It's next mutation turtle lair. It. Right? It, 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 it. It's. It's definitely what next mutation turtle lair looks next to like the 2003 turtle lair. Right. All right. Um. So we're gonna go with Eric. Eric, what do you think? No, he already went. No, that no, that was that was that was one of my that that was just another best line that I had forgotten about. Uh, worst line though. Worst line. It, there's so many. I'm just I'm just gonna say, I don't I I just it, 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 eschewing a, a worst line. I'm just gonna say I don't like Daryl's voice. It was okay. a choice. I hate it. Okay. I hate okay. it. Okay. So as your worst line, it's just everything it's Daryl says. <laughs> The tone of Daryl's voice. Yeah. I can understand this. Yeah. I, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Scott? It's like, you, you, don't, you don't need to... You, it's like, because it, it's the thing is, it's, it's, the era, it's the era of being a black nerd. And yes, I'm saying this as a white male. I get that. But it's the era of the white, of the black nerd that is painted on the fact that Stephen Urkel exists, and he's to be called a black... Urkel by his by yes. him. Yes, mm-hmm. and and to ex- and in that era to exist as a black nerd, you had to have an Urkel voice. Yep. And I am so glad we are past that. Right. Although I want Joe White to play Sonic again. Everybody wants him to play Sonic again, but you know, but can't. But you know, the new Sonic movie is good, Scott. Uh, worst line is uh, the police chief at the end when he's got Manelli in that truck. He's like, we got a nice cold jail cell all warmed up for you. What? Like, what? It, it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it literally no, doesn't no, make, no, sense. make any sense. <laughs> he just immediately contradicts himself. <laughs> yeah. No, what you needed is, right, I think probably what happened is they had a bunch of hobos that, that, that like, they, they let out, and it was the whole, and they had to get rid of the whole soup kitchen scene. 
if you understand that reference, you understand that reference. If you do not, I envy you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. I the don't. Reference, so. I don't. Um, uh, Zach, do not watch the other guys. Oh, uh, I got. Oh, 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 yeah! You're talking about the fucking yeah, the other the other guys, the spinoff of this movie starring David Allen Greer. No, no, no! Damn it! Mac remembers now. Yeah, now, now it brings it brings it brings in my head now. Now I don't remember it. I just haven't seen the other guys. Yeah, I remember it now, and I was like, "Damn it, Zach! Now I remember that shit." All right. I got, will have sex in your car. <laughs> yeah. got two worst lines. I wasn't talking to my jammy because he calls this fucking jammy. Jammy. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> and it's called the speculum of life. <laughs> <laughs> How did you people miss that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I, I I'm just imagining every woman I, in the audience first look, time seeing that their brains just <laughs> Oh god. Alright. I'm just amazed that he was able to obtain a speculum in the first place <laughs> i those aren't this is before amazon you're correct yeah it's because it's it's not like it's it's a me- it's a piece of medical equipment that i wouldn't imagine would be easy to come by or that he would know exists given by or, yeah why would he know what a speculum was? <laughs> Why would Daryl Walker know what a speculum is? Because <laughs> he's a genius, right? That, that's what they say all the time. He's a genius. That's not what they show. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what they show. This, 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 this movie is a masterclass in tell, not show. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I want to say this makes total sense. If you know the director's other movie, The Sex Monster where it's literally where a guy tries to convince his wife to have a threesome, and then the, the wife finds out she likes other women more and is trying to stick with women throughout the whole movie. And then if you know the context of how tone-deaf this man is, the speculum mind line makes sense. Because <laughs> that is tone-deaf as fuck. <laughs> Who is that movie for? <laughs> no, no. Um... So, um, all right. So, Eric, it's twenty percent on Rotten Tomato. It's nineteen percent on Rotten Tomato. Oh, you didn't. You didn't give your worst. No, oh, he started I, off. He started, started off. off. He did. Damn, yeah. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> I'm thinking about the speculum of life, and my yeah. my mind is. Yeah, we understand that. Um, your mind's being torn oh, asunder it, by the speculum of life. It it truly has. All right, so. Look, and the thing is, it's it's just the Jaws of Life, but with the speculum at the end. <laughs> well, no, because the Jaws of Life don't function in that manner, so it has to be the speculum. I mean, it, no, it does, though. It doesn't in this universe's <laughs> logic. Because Jaws have to do this. <laughs> All right, um, so... Eric, it's, 20, it's 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. Is it rotten? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Because like there's there's there is a certain amount of charm to this movie. But it's it's like it's it's one of those movies where it's like it, I got I get a chuckle every now and then, but it's never really more of a chuckle. I it's like and it's not really it's like the the plot isn't engaging enough to sort of balance that out, and the the it's like the the biggest issues that I have with this movie is that like it it just it it okay it just, who's plunking it, what I'm oh, sorry no that's that's me sorry oh. <laughs> it's, it, I'm messing with my my magnets again oh, no. okay I'm like I'm like what's uh the, the biggest issue with this movie just is I, you don't know what the issues with the movie is it's right it's 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 just sort of undescribable really what the main issues are with this movie which is you can't you can't really defend what you can't understand you know right. 
Right, but is it twenty? Is it nineteen percent? It's it's not nineteen percent. I I will I will give it that. It's not it's not a nineteen percent. There's very few movies that should be below twenty five. This is this isn't one that deserves to be. I it's like I would give it maybe like give it like a forty. Okay, well, that's understandable. Scott, is it rotten? Yes, it is. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but not 19% at all. No, I think it's I think it's a bit higher than that. I'm probably a little bit more forgiving of it than some of you guys. I'd probably give it about like a 55. Okay. Just because it's like it's a somewhat enjoyable movie. It's a riff on like superheroes, which I've always loved. I got the nostalgia factor to it also. So that probably clouds my judgment a bit. Quick question. And the, and the PCP from earlier is <laughs> yeah. not helping. It is Quick, not helping. So much PCP. Quick, I went to that crack house across the street from Blankman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Quick question. Where is, is 60 fresh, right? Yeah, uh, 60 is fresh. Okay, just make sure. All right. So I'm close. <laughs> Zach. He's edging. Zach. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's rotten. Okay. Just like Blankman. And... I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a 35. Okay. I think this movie's main crime is trying to blow up what should have been five minute skits into a full film. Right, right. Like, like if if this was like five minute skits made by TV Funhouse, like in the ambiguously gay duo style, this for in living color, this would have been killer. Right. They tried to expand it in the wrong direction. What one movie that I will compare this movie to, and like you, you might not like assume that this is a movie that should be compared to like surface level. You guys, ever see the movie Keanu? Yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes. That movie is essentially what you would do if you took like two or three Key and Peel sketch idea ideas and sort of blended them together into one feature length story. And, and it's like, it's like you, you take the idea of gangster cat. Um, Keanu. Uh, yeah. Animal. Yeah. And you, uh, it's like, you know, you know, gangster cat, uh, just this sort of, and then like the whole thing with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, uh, it, it's, uh, it's like, I, I had a, you know, a better explanation of it. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie, but like you take like two or three, uh, you know, Key and Peele sketch, sketch ideas and sort of weave them together into this sort of story and it works. And yeah, this, this one, it's like, it might've worked better in sketch format. Right. Like, like a multi-part sketch format probably over. Yeah, I know. I agree. I agree. All right, guys, it's my turn. All right, Mac, is Blank Man rotten? Yes. Oh, yeah. But but like I agree with y'all. It's not twenty. It's not nineteen percent. There's no no. I, I don't think it's an. I don't think it's a stupid like an amazing crime. It's at nineteen. It just sounds like a anomaly really i don't think people yeah. are hating on it i am hating i really hate that this is 19 because i don't believe it's this is 19 it's not I, that bad that that is that is like an issue with the rotten tomatoes system is if 90 percent of people are lukewarm on a movie or if 50 percent of a percent of people are vehemently against a movie and 50% are like, all right, this is fine. The one, the one that 50% people are vehemently against ranks higher than the one that people are just sort of lukewarm on. Right. Um, I, I would actually say this is a 69 because... Well, it, 69 is, is fresh. It's fresh. It's, it's 69 is fresh, my bad. Um, You're trying to say 59? Yeah, it's 59. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry, sorry. sorry. You, you just wanted to say 69. I just wanted to say 69. I, I wanted to say 69. Nice. Damn it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I wanted. To, I want to get this a fifty nine because it, it does. While it, I, I agree, it is rotten, but it teeter tot. I admit, 
Let me put it like this. 69. 59. Four, it was 59. Damn it. 59. <laughs> 49. Black. Shut up. Race to the bottom. 1929. <laughs> 49. But, um, but I will say 19% of that is guilty movie pleasure for me. So oh, that, that that's fair. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. So I would say it, it, I'm with Eric. It's a forty, but nineteen percent of for me as a guilty movie pleasure push it up to the six to that fifty nine for me. So yeah, rotten, but I I, I still love it. So I, I like this as a pleasure to me. It's I, mean, so- I agree with all of these scores, honestly. Yeah. yeah. All yeah, yeah, yeah. This movie. <laughs> Which is why it's rated so low because we can all agree that it's something about this movie ain't right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are this is the that boy ain't right. Look at, yeah, look at yeah, the yeah. main character. That I'm boy. okay, Dad. <laughs> oh, you've been watching Meat Canyon. <laughs> the movie ends oh, with the main Eric. character orgasming. Like it's it's the straightest. Oh, no. <laughs> no, if Eric's been watching Meat Cannon, he's seen way worse. Yeah, <laughs> right, and, 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 and right I, now the Ed Ed and Eddie one made my brain want to die. I, I agree. I agree that this, I agree that this film is rotten, but it's not shit. That's what I want to. I will want to say Eric is. Eric's idea is probably the most coherent because Key and Peele were writers for Mad TV doing sketch. Right. Like it is a it is perfectly applicable to get David Allen Greer and uh, Damon Wayans. Right, and I, I remember there was a scene where it just looked like they were just doing their stick from um, In Living Color, where he was literally was like, "Oh, you got to be strong, be strong." <laughs> you know, I was like, "Oh shit, this is like that stuff I hear from In Living Color." You know, but I, I, I God, I, those first couple of seasons are great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Farm Marshal Bill is awesome. So, uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get to the sequel pitch. Uh, you know what? It's the movie I picked, so I think I deserve to pitch this damn film. All right. All right, guys. We start off in the future. It is now. Not 2020, because 2020 sucks. <laughs> it is 20, I want to say 2010. 2010. Um, Daryl is now a working citizen. Um, everything's going well. Um, he got a nice job. Kimberly and him, you know, Kimberly and him drift apart. But we're, I just want to say Daryl is normal. He's no longer acting like that person anymore. He's a normal human being, having a nice job. And um, we don't still don't know what city is. He got a nice job and everything. He got a son who takes his custody, which will be played by Damon Wayans Jr. So his son is literally, you know, a teen. I wouldn't say he's in college. So I, I think Damon Wayans Jr. is in, he's old enough at this time. So you, you can get a college age. So he's in there in college and he's trying to get money. He's a dad, can I get money for college and all this and all something, you know. People selling stuff in the streets, and he just was like, you know, like it's nothing. Like, okay, this is normal, you know. You know, we deal with this shit every day. And um, what happens is, um, you don't know what you don't know is that his mother is Kimberly. So there goes obviously they split, they they divorced and everything. They ain't, they're not together. So what happens is Kimberly ends up getting killed on her job as a reporter, which makes sense. So, Damon Wayne's Jr., I want to say Daryl Jr., Daryl Jr. doing some investigative reporting, trying to find out who killed him, killed his mom. Don't know who killed his mom, trying to find out who killed Kimberly. Daryl is just, Daryl is just not going to be a part of this. He don't want to get investigative into this. But, in comes Kevin. Kevin is a hermit now. And Kevin is like going back in his glory days of how the fuck he's sitting up there. It is in this. He's still living. Is in this that. the Fisher King? No. Okay. No. I don't know. I don't know how you got to the Fisher King from there. I don't know how you did. <laughs> anyway, he's still. He's a hermit now. He's staying in this old grandma's house. I mean, house. Robin Williams, crazy hobo. Point. 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 But um, hold on. Um, he's um, he's in the house, and he's still got the other guy costume on. And he's eating tuna and everything. And he's going completely insane. And he goes to him, he said, hey, you know, I, I heard that you know who you probably did some investigative reporting. And then Daryl's like, 
Come on, Kevin, get a hold of yourself. He said, oh, no, 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 no. He said, come on, Daryl, the costume on one more time. One more time, girl. Well, Daryl, I'm not, I'm not doing that stuff anymore. I'm a normal human being. He said, come on. Come on, what you got to live for? You got to keep the city. Everybody loves you. Damn it. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. He, and and I, I, it's just him going crazy. So Kevin's trying to help him. Um, Kevin helps him, and he's acting insane. He got the costume on, and he is investigating this whole problem. With it. So basically, I want a real-life story of Daryl just being a human being investigating the murder of his mother. So there we go. Strange pitch for a blank man sequel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no, just wait. Just wait. I'll go next. I'll go next. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're trying to say you can go darker? <laughs> hey, look, the Waynes made both Thugaboo and Wayne Head. They're capable of anything. Well, we got to admit, it's dark and fun. It's dark and interesting. You know. All right. So, my pitch for Blank Man 2. What, Daryl gets shot? <laughs> We start out it's maybe say I'd say it's about the year 2000 you know yeah it's like it's like Daryl and Kevin they've they've been you know they they've really it's sort of jumped years it's it's been it's been about six years they've they've been at this for a while they, they've they finally decided to maybe give Kevin a bulletproof costume. Uh, they, <laughs> they, they, and the gadgets have just gotten zanier and zanier. Until one day in a, there is a little bit of an accident in the blank cave. Oh shit. Explosion goes off. <laughs> and it sends ripples through time. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Eric. <laughs> goes back fuck to you, before. <laughs> goes back to before the opening scene. A couple years before that. To Kevin and Daryl's mother. Now, we get a couple of mentions of, of how Kevin and Daryl's mother was very smart, much, much like Daryl. Don't really get much more than that. She's a scientist. She's working on a thing. She's she's hard at work. And then as these ripples come out at her, her lab explodes. And she set suck forward in time. Kevin and Daryl's mother. Uh it's like I it's like I, I really shot myself in the foot setting this in two thousand because I originally cast uh, Tiffany Haddish as this character, but the two thousand doesn't doesn't make sense to cast Tiffany Haddish. No, so no. Um, wait a minute. She was on. She was doing some stuff in the two thousand ten. Yeah, but she, yeah, but she wasn't really Tiffany Haddish in the two thousands. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a sentence you don't hear. <laughs> <laughs> that person wasn't quite a Tiffany Haddish. Nah, it wasn't Tiffany. <laughs> uh, yeah, an insult. Cast, cast, cast somebody in, in that role. It's like, but yeah, uh, it's like she gets pulled forward in time. And sees her two grown-up sons wearing these dorky ass costumes, and she's fully into it. <laughs> and so she, her now pulled from the past mother, joins their superhero team. <laughs> so with she's her, like their back. With her own a little less um hodgepodgey looking gadgets. <laughs> And it's called Blank Man and the Other Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Eric. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't get the title of mine. Mine is Blank Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Groundbreaking. Blank Man 2. <laughs> Groundbreaking. Blank, it's great. <laughs> Blank Man 2. <laughs> Groundbreaker. I'm telling you right now, that's awesome. That's all you got to do, put up there. Yeah. Point me into. Then again, I was going with, um, I was going to go with Point Me Into, Hobo No More, but I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I, 
it's like my my other sort of loose idea before I had settled on this was to do a soft re- uh, like a soft reboot starring Damon Wayne Jr. as Blank Man. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was that was my other that was my other thought, but I'm like, eh. <laughs> yeah, well, well, originally, if I got a third film, the third one would have been Blank Man Forever. But you know, Blank Man, Forever. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <sighs> Oh God! No, no, no! You should just went right to Blank Man Beyond. Yeah, I, I would have done that, but I gotta oh. get Val Kilmer in there. You know, Val Kilmer will be in the third one. <laughs> All right. This is this is infringing on like I have like two half of pitches. All right, and one of one of them is just Blank Man Beyond. All right, Scott. Scott, Scott why, don't, why don't you why don't you, why don't you go ahead? No, 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 no. We do this. We you 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 had your say, Matt. Okay, Dieter von Kunt. That's all I gotta it's, say. Dieter it's either von Kunt. it's either Blank Man Beyond or the or the Blank Man Returns. It's, it's a mixture of the two stories. He's fighting mutants and he's got a young kid. <laughs> so, but the other one is the more ambitious idea, and I don't really know how it works all together. But basically, I want to take Greg Kinnear's little scene from this movie and redeem it a little bit. It turns out that guy becomes Captain Amazing from Mystery Man. He comes back to life as a villain, and he has to fight Blank Man and Meteor Man with the help of the Mystery Men. <laughs> that is a truly underrated That's movie. Truly I'm going to say that. Film, Mystery right? Men is truly underrated. So, so Mr. H- so I got to know, will we get Mr. Hatred in this damn film? No. Damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch, I need Ben Stiller. I need Ben Stiller. <laughs> no, no, what we need is... Casanova Frankenstein. <laughs> Wasn't Kel Mitchell in Mystery Men? Yes. 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 He was the he invisible is. boy who was only invisible if no one was looking. Looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually a comic book adaptation from Carrot Man. Like, and I don't mean like diamond, I mean like a literal carrots. Oh. I, I thought that was like some like deviation of Carrot Top. I wish. <laughs> All right, Zach, you you told us before this that you have oh, your pitch no actually pitch. written. Can down. we can we see the picture? <laughs> we need a we need to see the fu- the um paper, man. The paper, like I mean, I'm not allowed to share my screen. Oh <laughs> damn it, Zach! <laughs> if I was, I would do it. <laughs> um, okay, I'm giving you the title right away. Son of Blank Man, colon Blank Man. <laughs> I love it already. It, I and love it it has already. A, the difference is Son of Blank Man, the first part doesn't have a dash, but the new Blank Man has a dash. Ooh. Oh. Okay. That's just the title. Okay. The original Blank Man dies, and his son is raised by the other guy to believe that crime fighting is, is a bad thing. Okay. He slowly discovers that the other guy actually left Blank Man to die as his robot killed him. (laughs) (laughs) J6? Yes. I want J6 to be a murderer. Yes. No. Damn it, I want to watch this now. (laughs) Terminator. Terminator. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. I I mean, you were talking about it. He gets overly complex. He's going to make an AI that kills him. Okay? (laughs) This is just a logical conclusion. I was was going to. It's all set up. I was gonna correct you and say it's it's J five, but no, J five did blow up. This would be J six. This is what J six said. Yeah, true. Can Val Kilmer voice him? No. Damn it. <laughs> no. It, no voice. This, vo- no this is like no the reveal. Voice. This is like the reveal in Tron Legacy where Clue is now the bad guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and J 6s okay. voice still has to be Damon Wayans. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. And but the other focus is gonna be watching the polarizing media go back and forth on whether Blank Man's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> because that's actually a huge part of this movie, if you think about there it. There were no robots yeah. before Blank Man. I know! Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's, we're going to go full on, like, info Wars, Wars versus CNN type of shit. <laughs> and it ends with a shootout where the other guy dies, because of course he does. Because the suit isn't bulletproof. Bingo. <laughs> so well, but, but the son of Blank Man lives because the other guy gave him the original Blank Man's mask, put it in his pocket, protects his heart. 
Mm. So, and you never see him dress up the entire movie. Awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. This awesome. whole uh, thing is a giant middle finger. I wanted to see if I could make a bit a bigger middle finger to the audience than end of Evangelion. So, so here's my. I question. don't think I accomplished that. No, no. Um, but I, I tried. You tried. Now I want to know: Can we get Will Smith in here for some odd reason? No. Damn it! I want our robot references. <laughs> We can put him in my movie as Hancock. Okay, look, well, that's cool. That's, yeah, I, I, all right. <laughs> no, 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 see, but I, see, uh, well, no. Do you know who's playing the son of blank man? I'm curious. Any guesses? Is is it Damon Wayans Jr.? Is it no. Michael B. Jordan? Is it? It Shia is LaBeouf? Michael Wayans who play who was. Who, <laughs> 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 so you guys weren't wrong. Well, who no. is the guy who plays <laughs> young Daryl <laughs> in this movie? <laughs> In the original. So we purposely make sure we keep it wrong. I was trying to make a, do it. I was trying to make a sequel to make sure it pissed people off, but you did it worse. Damn it. Um, I, I, oh, will, no, that I will say piss, that wouldn't piss people off. They would look, look, they'd go, if, What's a blank man? If if Zach really wanted to throw in the the uh the iRobot reference, he'll throw in Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Mm, interesting. Who was yeah. also in that movie? People tend to forget that. I forgot. I was he? he was in that damn film? What was he doing? He's part of the uprising at the end yeah. against the robots. Oh. He's like the second. He's like the third most prominent human in that yeah. movie. So hold on. Now let me change. <laughs> he really that. likes Will Smith's shoes. Yes. Let me change. Really let me change country. that. Let Let me change that. Can we get Shia LaBeouf doing do it, doing his do no. it speech in the middle of the fight? No, 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 no. Damn it! I don't know. You see, I wouldn't do iRobot references. I'd need to find a shittier film. Okay, can I uh, start? How about, how about robots? Yeah. <laughs> With you and McGregor? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say we specifically get the actors from Terminator Dark Fate, but, you know, that's what I was thinking. Can we, can so, I start so the actors them. from Terminator 2? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Can I star in this film, Zach? To I make wanna... sure that Terminator 2 is not remembered fondly, we will go back into the past. Like Samurai <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Samurai Jack, now about making to make sure Terminator 2 bombs. <laughs> so, Zach, can I star in this film? No. Damn it. Did anyone else notice that there is a really bizarre evolutionary link between this and the AVGN movie? Mm, no. Okay. We're pretty. Does anyone know who Mr. Stone is a parody of? No. Larry Flynn. Hmm. Hmm. The guy in the wheelchair owned Hustler. Yeah. yeah. Now you have that turn to Mr. Stone, and then you have the general in the AVGN movie with the tank legs, <laughs> who is also bald and wears the shit on his chest. You literally have a, like a Pokemon Evolution game <laughs> of Those Larry characters. Flynn. <laughs> how did Can we this talk happen? about how terrible the bald cap was on Jason Alexander? <laughs> no, <laughs> because if it was good, we would suspect. It's it just it's Alexander. it's like. And it also just feels like such a waste to put a bald cap on yeah, Jason Alexander. Right? <laughs> it's, it's a, he it's might a cap on a cap, you know? Well, did he still have hair then, maybe? No, this is He had this the ring. He was still clinging he, he to the ring. He had the ring. This is 94. Uh, this was... Post-North? This was post-North. This was, I think... <laughs> was it post-Seinfeld? No. no, was, no was, Seinfeld was Seinfeld and Friends on, on at the yeah. same time? Yeah. Seinfeld was still on, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was it was late Seinfeld then. You know what? I I'm, I'm not going to lie. I appreciate it at Jason Alexander's over the topness Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I love just, when he's hanging yeah. from the chains <laughs> yeah. and he, he's making the wheels go still. <laughs> I feel like he's just playing Duckman except yes. Yes. Yeah. more yeah. insane. Yeah. yeah. Like Duckman without a script is basically what I feel like his character was. <laughs> So you got Which, that resume <laughs> Look, Duckman was weird already. <laughs> Did you ever see that show? Yeah, it weird was one. weird. It was weird. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, 1994, what was he doing? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's like 
Seinfeld run ran from eighty nine to ninety eight, so this was like halfway through Seinfeld. Mm, okay. a little, maybe a little later than halfway through. And this was a year after Coneheads. All right. Um, well, guys, this was a good episode. Um, good episode. Um, I had North was of- the same year. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, look, we all care about Jason and Alexander more than this show. This is apparent. Yeah, this we, is just we, factual. And well, North's a movie we're going to have to do at some point. Fuck! <laughs> uh, okay, um, There's no good. rule that says we have to do North. No. That's got to be rotten, though. No, I'm going to pick it. Oh, it, it, it is. It probably. is. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Fuck you. Damn it. It's I a 14%. Don't... It's even Fuck. worse than this. Fuck. Jason Alexander was on a roll that year. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most thoroughly hateful movies in recent years by Gene Siskel. Oof. Oof. <laughs> a movie that makes me cringe even when I'm sitting here thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, okay. I feel like jack nicholson in the dentist chair right now because i'm like this is i kind of want this pain i haven't seen this film and i want this pain now you've never uh, seen north i never got a chance oh my god it's not even an hour and a half come on guys Uh, look do you have any idea how many shitty films i watched on my own when's my pick it's either this or freddy got fingered (laughs) son of a bitch son of a bitch (laughs) i was thinking about doing a real sophie's choice yeah (laughs) You know, I, 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 and you would know something. When I was a kid, I surprisingly thought this movie was long. It's surprisingly short. It's not North? long. No, um, no, Blank Man. <laughs> Blank Man. Um, yeah. Blank Man. Yeah, no, the thing, the thing is, the reason this movie feels long is because a lot of it is very slow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's why I thought it was felt like it was taped together. It kind of goes through like the plot of the Dark Knight and Batman Begins in an hour and a half movie, so it yeah. kind of like feels really long and dragged out. Right, like, right. did anyone just not give a fuck about <laughs> what Benelli was fucking doing by the end? Who gives a fuck? I did not <laughs> he was just get... walking into campaign offices. Like, he didn't shit. even seem like a villain to me anymore. I'm you like, know what? He was, he was Alexander's the... the villain now. <laughs> you know what? I really will... No, you know what? I really wish... That they would make Jason Alexander the villain, it would have made a lot of sense, and it would have been interesting. Well, no, he is the real life villain in it. If he made David Koresh, like <laughs> that's a body count. That's that's more than like that's a that's a body count and an FBI investigation, like, <laughs> like a whole and a whole like that makes him that literally makes him inadvertently responsible for Oklahoma City too. Mm, point. So it's that's how the ripple effect goes on that. So mm, point. All right. Well, guys, this is a good episode. I admit this is fun. Yeah. I have recorded it. I see it right here. Damn it. Yes, we can all we can all verify that it is recorded. Okay. A thing God. that we do have to make sure of every time. <laughs> yes, now. Eric. What is your pick? Well, as as I alluded to last week, uh, last week, <laughs> last episode, <laughs> it was very much more than a week ago. <laughs> Uh, my pick, which we're going to record actually next week, exactly. is uh, a movie by the name of Ah Zombies, or as it is also known as Wasting Away. Uh, it is an indie zombie movie that is unrated on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, I swear I saw a trailer for this at some point. You probably have. As this but movie that's... is from 2007. This movie has it's been like... around for 13 years. <laughs> Let's see. I was probably watching Redneck it. Zombies at the time. Wait a minute. They got Redneck Zombies? Yeah, Redneck Zombies. It's a trauma film. Uh, it's. I'd say it's exactly what it sounds like, but it's not. It's zombies that are made from moonshine. It's even weirder. And Damn then there's it. just... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's and then there's just a scene with a dealer who's a scarecrow. I think I could never figure out what the fuck he was. I, I mean, if if you watch the trailer for Oz Zombies, it really just gives away the entire plot of Oz Zombies because it's like it's your like movie those... had a plot. Yes, damn, I got ripped off. This movie didn't have a plot at all. I plan on going in blind on this one. Uh, you no, know, yeah, that it it is a it is a good idea to go into Oz Zombies blind. You know, I mean, I'm. Will I'm just... I leave blind though? No, no. 
I, I will, I, I will leave with the power of Jesus in my heart. <laughs> look, look. If there is a movie that I have brought up on this show that might leave you blind, it's The White River Kid. <laughs> I just I got it. I'm I show. Gotta I'm watch it. I'm DVD show. I'm still waiting on that fucking film. I'm gonna watch it. Um, I'm surprised. I'm so shocked and surprised you did not pick a Neil Brain movie. That is the true horror. And they film. aren't scared. Yeah, but uh, Neil Brain is too easy. Come on. It's fun though. It's fun to watch. That's gonna be my pick. Double down. I mean, the fact that it's being mentioned in the same breath as Attack of the Killer Tomatoes and Basket Case is, is a good sign for me because I love both those films. And I made my Mac watch Basket Case, and I feel great about that decision. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you, you, were late. you were very surprised at how competent that film was. I was. This, th- this, this movie, above all else, is the movie that I will actually describe as my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I... I, it's like it's like there are movies that I accept their flaws on, but no, this is a movie that I definitely it's like I this is this is garbage, but I love it. <laughs> Ooh, garbage. <laughs> Get the dumpster juices in me. <laughs> Channel a little bit of filthy Frank there. Uh, in me. In me. Uh but I know for a fact that we can watch this one unlike watch this one online, unlike the White River Kid, <laughs> <laughs> which so may or may not only exist on Scott's shelf. Six dollars <laughs> on eBay, man. <laughs> now, if have Scott you, oh, were you, to uh, rip that and put that online, that would be a great <laughs> thing for and, the general and public of people the, that speaking, want to watch speaking them. on a recording that will be going online. I will not be doing that. I will absolutely and there will not, not be, doing be a that. Google Drive file with the password sixty nine. <laughs> Certainly yeah, I know, not. Right? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Please. All right. Well, Look, you know, com- I'm just going to say that Eric could have gone way lower. He could have gone to the next Wayans movie, which was a low down, dirty shame, which is the actual zero percenter. <sighs> oh, and no. even I really don't want to touch that film. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's move on to the plugs. All right, guys. I got to get the plug in. Um, Eric, what you got to plug, buddy? Uh, as always, you can find me on Twitter at Bunk Bunker. You can find me on this channel doing various things, mostly this show, sometimes Gamer Grudge, <laughs> occasionally GF1. <laughs> and uh, you can also find me uh, in uh, friend of the show, Kim Hanley's second D&D campaign, Sunday mornings on twitch.tv slash Roll Society. Okay. Where... How are you? Uh, uh, how are you getting at uh, understanding what's actually going on? Uh, you know, it's it, it's it's going all right. I mean, I almost died in a fight with a hydra, but that's a uh, that's a whole whole other story. Good way to go. It's a it's a it's. A, I urge us all to go watch it. it, it, it yeah, go watch it. My my character almost died in like. It's like, well, it's like, it's really his second fight because the first, the first fight that my character had was in an underground fighting ring, which he totally whomped the champion, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, almost died. Um, he, he died. He almost died, so that the other, everybody else could get away from the Hydra and hit him with fire arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice play. Yeah. Uh, right. Like tonight. Mac, don't. I'm not pretending like I know what he's talking about. You don't pretend either. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I just wanted to laugh. I have no idea what he's talking about. All right, but that's it. Um, Scott, what you got to pull up, buddy? Uh, same things as Eric, pretty much. Uh, except you're also in, <laughs> you're also except, in in Kim's Sunday morning D and D campaign. <laughs> said that. Yeah, I'm, I'm in there. You just don't see me. Yeah, I'm sneaky like that. Oh, <laughs> he's he's the translucent in the casket. Uh-huh. Exactly. If you know, you know. Yeah. Also, um, we got otherwise, do- uh, Jubaka Defense on Twitter. You can find me at. And also, he's going to be doing. He's on Film Talk. We got to do our episodes. Um, film we're doing but we'll get there what was it i think it was venom but oh, i'm yeah. having like should we <laughs> i mean are you reviewing the song or 
the movie. Yes. Is it okay? Yes. To, yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you, can, yes. you can't really do one without the other. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, why reboot the song though? Like, we're not <laughs> reboot the, the song. song. <laughs> no. <Turn in. laughs> why, well, there's nothing to fix on the song. The song Turn is in. perfect <laughs> as it is. It's perfect cringe. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they got to bring Eminem back to do the next one. But yeah. Um, How do, what do you rhyme with carnage? Carnage? <laughs> I don't know. Farmage? <laughs> Farting? These aren't words. I was going to say far. I was going to say far range. <laughs> ah, carnage, okay. farnage. You know, you know. Farnage, well, far range. About? Right there. <laughs> Why did his name it killer? Because that's what he does every time. He just fucks shit up. Oh. He's got to find a rhyme for Cletus, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, Cletus the fetus. He, no. There we go. Oh, shit. Look, you can no, no, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's that is that's real. That, that is, is real. That is real. It's like he he can rhyme things with Cletus. He can rhyme things with Cassidy. It's fine. That's fine. He'll be fine. He'll he'll be able to make a Carnage song. It's fine. Carnage. It's fine. We don't have to worry, guys. No, no. He'll get, 50 cent. he'll get Fifty Cent to do it, like in a directed DVD. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's what he'll do. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm still into it. <laughs> Look, I just want to know how this universe Venom handles Venom being pregnant with Carnage. <laughs> <laughs> and on and that note, Zach, what do you got to plug? <laughs> and, and people said that Deadpool was cringy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Actually, that should be the ad right there. And people <laughs> thought that Deadpool was cringy. Yeah. Carnage. Carnage. <laughs> you've, Carnage. You've put cringe on my timeline, bro. Can we just, I mean, I, I mean, if they don't put Deadpool somehow in Venom, I'm gonna be, I would love to see that. I just want Deadpool in Venom somehow. Look, I think Jamie Foxx means... is back as Electro. Literally anything is possible at this <laughs> point. Bring in Topher Grace's Venom. <sighs> Please, uh, no. please no. Please no. Please no. Hey, can yes. we get no? Can we no? Can we just get Deadpool and just literally just let him slice his head off? Can we? For have... all we know, Woody Harrelson is Sam Raimi's Carnage. We don't know. Can we have him somehow mutate into like? Can we have like Topher Grace's Anti Venom? Because that is what? the thing. I don't see why not. Everything's on the table at this point, right? <laughs> The Marvel I, universe can I, can I just, somehow can I just expanded say, itself. <laughs> I'm I'm real annoyed that Flash Thompson anti venom did not last very long. Yeah, I think well, he lasted like an issue. <laughs> well, if they do it in the movies and make it popular, then they'll bring it back. Yeah, but, well, that's the thing. It's like you, but Agent Venom was a that, that's a still a good idea. I like it. Agent Agent Venom was so good, but then they wanted like let's just bring back Eddie Brock. So I'm like, what do we do with Flash Thompson? Um, let's make him anti venom No, 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 let's just kill him. Let's kill him. You but know, we just made him anti- No, no, just, no, kill, no him. just kill him. Just kill him. It's fine. And also, <laughs> I will be playing Shocker. I'm just letting you know. And it's going to be spelled the way he just pronounced it. Exactly. Shocker. 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 Isn't he actually Texan in the fucking sp- uh, Spectacular Spider-Man cartoon? Probably. Probably. That would so he probably perfect. would pronounce his own name that way. Hi, I'm the Shocker, boy. Shocker. <laughs> You're running around calling yourself, I'm the Shocker. I shock things. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's probably one of the best parts of Homecoming. <laughs> it is. <laughs> just, just him making fun of it. It's like, You're, You're calling yourself the Shocker. You shock things. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Michael. Adrian, Adrian Toomes was I, – I love – Michael Keaton's take on Oh, I love it. I love it, too. <laughs> I, 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 I'll be sad. I'm actually going to be sad. Well, he's coming back in Morbius, guys. Yes. Yeah. Y'all excited oh. for Morbius? I, I am. I, I want to see is. how many digs they take at the gear led of Joker. I want to be able to make a <laughs> list. I don't. It's like... <sighs> it's going to be so bad, guys. I can't wait. Yeah. We're going to do it on this show. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Mac, remember remember when Venom came out and I said, hey, we should fast track an episode on Venom, and then we never did an episode on Venom. Well, is it rotten? Is it even rotten? I think it is. Hey, hey, that's a horror film. No, it's not. No, it's not. 
<laughs> but yeah, also, to be fair, horror. really neither is mine. It's just it's just about. Well, no, zombies. yours is at least a horror comedy. I wouldn't even call yeah. Venom a horror comedy. I'd call right. it a what did I watch? It's a buddy cop film. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> you just take that shit back. I love Venom, and I I love it for what it is. And I'll watch the shit out of it again. <laughs> Venom this is why we should do it for film Venom talk. Venom is thirty percent. <laughs> yeah. It is rotten. Anyway, yeah. I don't know how much of this is in the episode, but... Uh, all of it. It's all of it. <laughs> all of it. All right, Zach, what you got to pull up, man? <laughs> uh, I really don't got much going on. I was going to put up my shit, but I decided not to. Thank God. <laughs> because because I, I can find more creepy thing later. We, we understand, Zach, and we understand this. Um... And I, I will. Ha- I have a folder that I am now just labeling creepy teeth photos. <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. <sighs> hey, Damn it, Zach. I, I, and I might just have a subfolder on just the effects of meth mouth by the end of the end of the day. <laughs> okay. All right, well, guys. I'm Mac. Uh, you can come follow me at Tampa Buffet eighty eight. Go follow me on Twitter. Um, you can ha- make sure you um subscribe to this channel and watch some of the stuff we're doing. We'll see you next time we do Ah Zombies. Ah Zombies. Or, ah zombies. zombies. Oh, you can do the Bullwinkle thing where it's like Ah Zombies or Wasting, wasting the Way. Oh, God. That's, that movie was insane. I love that movie. The, the Rocky and Bullwinkle movie? Yes. Another Jason Alexander movie. I loved it. <laughs> The reason well, I, he's not like a film star. <laughs> we'll talk about it next time. We'll talk about this. I'm surfing on, on the, the world wide web. <laughs> we'll talk about this next time. See you guys. Bye.